Hey everybody, I'm Skeptic Lisi, and thanks for checking into Women of Science. In continuation with this month's theme of Black History Month, this week's scientist is the fabulous physicist Valerie Thomas. So this little lady was working on establishing her nerd cred from a very early age. When she was eight, she checked out a book from the library called The Boy's First Book on Electronics, hoping her father, who liked to tinker with technology, would get all geek dad with her. Unfortunately, he took the whole boy's book from the title a little too literally. He didn't think that girls should be doing science. I'm sure much embarrassment ensued in later years. So Miss Thomas ended up attending an all-girls school, which was not so spectacular about encouraging math and science. Like many young girls, Valerie was left to try to nurture her love of science with little more than self-education. But that all changed in college. Valerie attended Morgan State University and was one of only two women in her class to major in physics. Miss Thomas started out her career in 1964 as a mathematical data analyst for NASA. While working at NASA, Miss Thomas acted as the project manager for the development of their imaging processing system on Landsat, which was the first satellite to send images from outer space. She also helped design computer programs, assisting with the study of Halley's Comet, ozone research, and the Voyager spacecraft. However, Miss Thomas is particularly known for her invention of the illusion transmitter. See, in 1976, Valerie witnessed an exhibit showing the illusion of a light bulb which appeared to be lit even though it had been removed from its socket. Hmm. Being completely unaware of Dominic Monaghan's X-Men powers, she figured that there was some pretty cool science going on down here. This presentation inspired her to try to figure out how illusion technology could be used to supplement her work with NASA. So, in 1977, she got to work studying how the position of concave mirrors could affect the real objects that they were reflecting. And then, in 1980, she patented her new invention, the Illusion Transmitter, which NASA still uses today. Now, aside from creating the potential for some seriously awesome television experiences, the Illusion Transmitter allows for the presentation and transmission of 3D images, so you could theoretically have a 3D projection of your favorite characters right in your living room. Now, aside from that bit of awesomeness, the illusion transmitter also has some really cool practical implications. For example, scientists are currently working to tweak the technology to allow surgeons to get a better look into the human body. A plus Valerie Thomas. Ms. Thomas worked in various positions for NASA, such as the project manager for SPAN and the chief of the Space Science Data Operations Office before her retirement in 1995. She now works as an associate for the UMBC Center for Multi-Core Hybrid Productivity Research, and she is a youth mentor with Smart Inc. and the NTA. Over the course of her life, Valerie Thomas has been the recipient of numerous awards, most notably the Goddard Space Flight Center Award of Merit and NASA's Equal Opportunity Medal for her work in promoting women in science. That's all I've got for you today, but be sure to come back next week for a brand new Women of Science. If you need help remembering, just hit the little subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye!